I'm a family doctor and a mom of two, and I know that there is a ton of controversy around vaccines. As a parent, there is a lot of information coming at you, and it can be very confusing. But I'm here right now to provide you with solid facts and to break down some of the myths about vaccines so that you can make a smart decision for your kids. Vaccines can commonly cause minor and temporary side effects like a sore arm or a mild fever. I recently took my own two boys to get vaccinated and one of them did develop a reaction. It lasted for a few days and he's completely fine now. It's really important to keep in mind that the dangers of the diseases that we are looking to prevent with vaccines are far more serious than the risks of a reaction to the vaccine. It's true that sometimes people who get vaccinated will get sick, and that's because no vaccine is 100% effective, and each person is different. But the fact is, immunization is one of modern medicine's greatest success stories. Did you know that it has been estimated that every year, 9 million lives are saved due to vaccines? That's a lot of people. This is one of the most emotionally charged issues surrounding vaccines, and it's unfortunate because it's been shown through extensive research that there is no connection between the measles, mumps, rubella vaccine and autism. It all started in 1998 when a study was published that made a connection between MMR and autism. But that study has been repeatedly disproven and in fact has been shown to be false and also fraudulent. In fact, the doctor who published that initial study has been stripped of his license and he can no longer practice medicine. The problem is that the fear that was sparked by that initial study has caused vaccinations to be dropping ever since. And what's really scary is that now we're starting to see outbreaks of those diseases all across Canada. In fact, in British Columbia, where I live, there is an outbreak of measles happening right now. And that freaks me out. When it comes to immunization, it really works best if we can all work together to help keep our communities healthy and keep these diseases under control. Remember, it's not just for your own kids, but for your neighbor's kids too. For more information, please go and talk to your doctor and visit youareimmunized.ca. You got this.